morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tech Sergeant Adam Borjan, and I will be your narrator for today's ceremony. On behalf of the Commander 505th Test and Training Group, Colonel Francisco Delay, welcome to the 84th Radar Evaluation Squadron Change of Command Ceremony. Today we honor Lieutenant Colonel David Pennington upon his relinquishment of command, and welcome Lieutenant Colonel Jesse Scott as he assumes command. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of our national anthem, an invocation by Mr. Ed Coquillier. God, I thank you for the blessings you have poured on the 84th grades and ask for your continued blessings on the men and women who make up this squadron. Sustain them in their work they do, give them strength as they labor, and, e and wisdom equal to every task. As we proceed with the change of command ceremony, I lift up the two commanders, the one departing and the one stepping into their commander role. By that, I ask that you go with Lieutenant Colonel Pennington and his family as they move on to new assignment. Let their life, let their new place of service be a blessing to them in every way. And be with Lieutenant Colonel Scott as he assumes command of this organization. Endow him with every grace of leadership he will need. Watch over him and his wife through all the times of trial. Grant him and the people he needs success in every endeavor, so that their mission might be accomplished, and every team member might find satisfaction in the work they are doing on behalf of their nation. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Coquillier. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated. <coughs> At this time, we would like to welcome our distinguished guests to join us for today's ceremony. Special guests for the Agulent Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Pennington, who is joining us via video teleconference, are his wife Annie and their daughters, Catherine, Claire, and Isla. Special guests for the incoming commander, Lieutenant Colonel Scott, are his wife, Dr. Julie Scott, her mother, Sally Williams, and brother, Neil Williams. And via video teleconference, Lieutenant Colonel Scott's parents, retired Chief Master Sergeant, Jesse Scott, and Nora Scott. ceremony you will witness today is deeply rooted in military tradition and dates back to the reign of Frederick the Great of Prussia. During this period, organizational flags were developed with color arrangements and symbols that were unique to each unit. When a change of command was to take place, the outgoing commander would pass the flag to the individual assuming command. This gesture was conducted before the unit members so that all could witness their new leader assuming command. This historic and honored tradition continues to demonstrate the significance of the assumption of command in the finest military traditions. It is my pleasure to introduce the commander of the 505th Test and Training Group, Colonel Francisco Delight. Hi, good morning, everybody. First of all, thank you, Sergeant Borgen and Ms. Sedlicek and the team for putting this together. Distinguished guests, Colonel Dickens, Chief Duplachain, Colonel Codex Feld, Senior Master Sergeant Buck Holder, Commanders and Senior Enlisted Leaders, and men and women of the 84 Raids, thanks for joining us this morning. Again, welcome. But most importantly to the families, Lieutenant Colonel Pennington's wife, Annie, their daughters, Catherine, Isla, and Claire, Lieutenant Colonel Scott's wife, Dr. Julie Scott, Mother Sally Williams, Brother Neil Williams, and of course, Lieutenant Colonel Scott's 
parents, retired Chief Master Sergeant Jesse Scott and Nora Scott. And finally, also a big welcome to the 84 Raids Honorary Commander, Janie Nadalski. It's great to have our community involved in, in such an event. So a heartfelt welcome, heartfelt welcome to today's ceremony, and thank you for attending this important occasion, whether virtually or in person. While COVID-19 has forced us to adapt this event, and we won't be able to physically transfer the squadron guide on, we'll still be able to honor the outgoing commander, Colonel Pennington, and welcome our new commander, Colonel Scott, and execute the essence of a change of command in keeping with military tradition. Despite the challenges of setting up a ceremony where many of the traditions normally executed during the ceremony, such as the pinning on of the medal, with a physical exchange of the squadron guide on that symbolizes the passing of command from one commander to another in front of the troops are unable to be done. The importance of conducting a change of command remains. Command is an honor, it's a privilege, and it carries great responsibility. And Lieutenant Colonel Pennington has carried out that responsibility splendidly. And the raise under his firm leadership has accomplished a lot in the last two years. They continue to be recognized for its radar expertise, strongly impacting the Air Force, Joint Forces, civil, and international partners. Despite you and your team have had your hands full, being busy, nothing new, busy traveling around the world. And the RAIDS, the RAIDS team, has set a high standard for excellence. The team has stood up an OL in the Pacific to enhance PACOM's air defense capabilities. Your team has completed the first TARS about in five years, supporting national drug interdiction efforts. You've developed a classified Arctic over the horizon test network to provide real-time troop data, connecting 400 sites. You've developed and conducted radar interference mitigation for six government agencies. You've led an international catastrophic radar loss study and been involved in 5G studies. The team has established a $27 million unit data center that runs 24-7, supporting 400 agencies. You've conducted BCSF updates. You've been involved in FPS 117 secure mode certification. And doing all that while continuously conducting the mission that you're most well known for, providing 24-7 radar analysis and monitoring. But finally, and most importantly, the RAIDS has had a leader that's led the squadron extremely well, getting the mission done while taking care of its people. So these this list of accomplishments is but a short list of many. I could keep going on and on and on at what you and your team have done for the nation. Spike, you've done an excellent job ensuring your team is prepared and ready to do its daily mission, and the unit's success has a great deal with your personal leadership and engagement. You've maintained high standards push your team hard, yet within its capabilities. And when you lack the resources, you've spoken up, sometimes very loudly. <laughs> the list of successes mentioned earlier, again, is indicative of your leadership and highly appreciative. Thank you. Spike, we're sorry to see you go, but we wish you the best of luck to while you head out to Ramstein. I know you're looking forward to that assignment. However, the Rays is gaining a truly great leader in Lieutenant Colonel Scott, sorry, Jesse Astro Scott. Your background, your leadership, your experiences the DO this last year have prepared you well for this command. And this last year, I've seen you display the hallmarks of great leadership. You listen and respect and value your team, you give them good guidance, and you lead by example. And despite being the DO in this squadron for the last year, I also have no doubt that you will bring your own ideas and perspective, placing your unique fingerprints on this command. Men and women of the raids, you can be confident knowing you're getting a great commander. I have no doubt and expect nothing but excellence in the coming years from Lieutenant Colonel Pennington, Lieutenant Colonel Scott, and the men and women of the 84 raids. Congratulations to both of you and your families. Thank you. <laughs>